Things are now finally starting to warm up across eastern Carolina. I'm Storm Track 12 meteorologist Les Dillon. We've got lots of sunshine that will be around for the next several days into the weekend. And maybe a little isolated storm in here for the day tomorrow, but really for the most part, I think most of the rain this week is done. Definitely more sunshine today than we have been seeing recently for us here in eastern Carolina. Again, only a few clouds, inland spots today. I can't rule out a spotty sprinkle, but I think the majority of us will remain on the dry side today. And maybe an isolated thundershower developing across Onslow, Craven, Carteret, Pamlico, Hyde County tomorrow as the sea breeze front does work its way in in the early to mid-afternoon hours here. And then talking about that warm-up, things are really going to get going here as we head on into the weekend as we do look for temperatures returning to the 90s by late Sunday and especially going into Monday. And yeah, so does the humidity level come back up around as well. Uh, Tropics do remain on the quiet side with nothing showing the Atlantic or along the Gulf Coast states. So that's something we'll continue to keep you updated on as we're now in officially tropical season. How about upper 70s and low 80s for high temperatures today? Temperatures even at the beaches into the upper 70s. Cool one overnight tonight, a couple degrees warmer than this morning where we saw yet again a couple spots like Greenville came in into the 40s, upper 40s, 48, 47 degrees this morning. Beaches will stay into the 60s and then through the day tomorrow again, sunshine to begin with, maybe some isolated storms develop late in the afternoon hours as that sea breeze front does work its way in. But with that sunshine and light variable winds, we'll start to get temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. Now, you can see where we should be for this time of year, 85, that's normal. How about almost 10 degrees cooler than that for the daytime yesterday? Even overnight lows should be in the mid-60s. We got down into the mid-50s this morning. So it's not completely unprecedented. It's just, well, it's been kind of nice and refreshing, if you will. Low humidity levels around, comfortable temperatures. Haven't needed to really run your air conditioning. But that will be changing as we head on into the weekend. Here's what we're tracking right now. A big upper-level low-pressure system sitting and spinning across the northern mid-Atlantic states, really bending the jet stream down into the east here. It's basically what we call an omega block, and it looks like the Greek letter omega. But we are tracking this high pressure that's sliding down across the Great Lakes. That's eventually going to bring the upper-level ridge along with it. And you'll notice from basically Chicago down to New Orleans, hardly a cloud to be seen in the sky now, what's going to be happening is another storm system coming in across the Pacific Northwest that gradually forces the ridge in the center portion of the United States to the east over us, and that's what's going to bring the warmth to it. Until then, though, one last little disturbance come through in this jet stream late tomorrow afternoon. That's why I think we may have a little bit of a upper-level disturbance coming through that could give us an isolated storm along the sea breeze front. This is what future track shows as far as the jet stream itself is concerned. Now, remember... All the heat is sitting out here underneath this heat ridge, and it's actually going to arrive in on west-northwesterly winds once we get this last little disturbance coming through in the jet stream. That'll pass through us late tonight going in through the afternoon hours tomorrow as that upper-level ridge does lift out of here. And then you'll notice how we've got that avenue created for that warmer air to start spilling in from the central plains here as that upper level ridge kind of transits over the Mississippi River and then eventually gets towards the Tennessee Valley and our neighborhood as we head in through Sunday and Monday. Notice by Sunday that upper level ridge kind of sitting across the Tennessee Valley so all that warmth will be able to be here in eastern Carolina and it'll kind of hold that way at least until Tuesday or Wednesday next week before we finally do track a cold front coming in here with this short wave that will be moving in here. This is what future track shows as we go through the day today. Uh, kind of amazingly enough, we're actually getting dry air coming in because of a high pressure sitting off the Delmarva Peninsula coming in on those northeasterly winds. So as you get west of highway, say 258, maybe uh, some fair weather clouds popping this afternoon. Can't completely rule out a spotty sprinkle, but I think the majority of us will remain on the dry side. Overnight tonight, some of that warmth starts to come in on those northerly winds, but you'll notice as we go through the afternoon hours, Mars, see how the sea breeze front gets activated here? So we could see maybe an isolated thunder shower late in the afternoon hours that potentially could come into play as far as graduation is concerned. We'll try to time that out better for you as we head on through the day tomorrow. And then we've got the system with that upper-level ridge really sitting over us as we go into Saturday, and that's going to start to pump the heat in here. Upper 70s, low 80s for later on this afternoon. Still chilly overnight tonight, uh, maybe some uh, low to mid-50s as opposed to the 40s like we have had the past couple nights. And then you can see we're on our way to the mid and upper 80s 
for the daytime hours tomorrow and still remaining on the mild side as we head into early Saturday morning. So the planning forecast does show that we're going to see maybe an isolated thunder shower or two develop as that last upper disturbance comes along late tomorrow afternoon. We'll be looking at temperatures into the 80 degree range today, back closer to normal for tomorrow and then above normal as we do head on into the weekend here. Now, if you're looking for something to do this weekend, we've got the Arts by the Sea Festival taking place in Swansboro. Look for sunshine, temps into the mid-80s as we head through the day on Saturday. Absolutely gorgeous weather for us here in eastern Carolina. And you'll notice that heat and, yes, the humidity starts to creep back in as we head into next week. Have yourself a good Thursday. I'm Storm Track 12 meteorologist Les Still.